Which league is the best to farm in? This is actually a very complicated question, so I'm going to break it down in this video, give you all of the information you will need to know so that no matter what your town hall level, you know where you should be farming. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. I get asked all of the time, what is the best league for me to farm in? Now as I've been researching for this video, I have read so many theories on each of the town hall levels, but I want to simplify the information for you. I always want to make sure you can understand my videos, but that they are complex enough that you get all of the information. So I've decided to break this one into three different sections, they will be as video chapters in case you want to skip ahead or refresh any area. But initially we will be discussing how loot is calculated and the types of farming because that will directly impact your decision on where you want to farm. Secondly, we will discuss the complicated part. Where should you farm based on your town hall level and how strong your base is? This is something that you will need to decide but I will give you the tools to make that decision. Lastly, I will give you some practical advice in case you don't want to make a decision you just want to be told what league to farm in. I will go off my personal experience in order to help you because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos so if that's the type of content you want to see I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. The amount of loot available to you in a raid is determined by the amount of loot your opponent has within their storages, collectors and treasury. There is a loot penalty with this as well and I discussed all of this in a lot more depth in my video when you should upgrade your town hall level. I will link that video at the end of this one if you are interested but let's skim over this because we will be referencing it in the more complicated part of where you should farm. So you should know that within storages you can take anywhere from 10 to 20% of your opponent's loot within their storages. However, within their collectors, the gold mine and the elixir pump, you can actually take 50% of the loot within those buildings. And in the dark elixir drill, 75%. So it goes without saying that the biggest loot raids tend to have a large chunk from collectors. This is where your opponent has not been online to collect their loot for a set period of time. This means you want to try and maximize the amount of collector loot that you find and this is where I will be discussing where you should farm. I will also bring you a video in the near future with the best farming armies so be sure to subscribe for that. However, you do need to be aware of the loot penalty. This is where if you attack a town hall lower than you, you will have a penalty. Now one town hall level you only lose 20% of the loot so it's not that big of a deal but if you attack someone two town hall levels lower than you, you have a 50% penalty. So if that person has 1 million loot available in gold and elixir, you will actually only be able to obtain 500,000. So this may impact where you farm as well. Now all of this information is displayed on the Clash of Clans wiki which will be linked in the description. In order to identify where the loot is within a base, you basically need to look at the buildings, the storages and the collectors. This is a nice example, if we zoom in on the gold storage you can see that it's pretty full but the elixir storage is relatively empty. Often if there is an offset in amount, you can see 600,000 gold but only 100,000 elixir, that often means that it is a storage raid because if it were a collector raid, people would raid all of the mines and pumps on the outside but you do have to look for gravestones as well. If we are to look at the collectors as well, you can actually see that there is some in there. However, don't let this fool you because you do need to take a look at the level of the collector as well. Because a very low level collector will look pretty full, but if we take a look at the gold mine to the bottom, it's actually only got a little bit of gold in it. So I would say that around about 125,000 of golden elixir is from within the collectors here, that's why the elixir is so low, and 500,000 is from the storages. You need to take all of that into account when you are looking at whether you should attack a base or not. 
So which league is the best for you to farm in? That was a very brief introduction into farming, but you now know that majority of the loot comes from the mines and pumps, so-called collector bases, and you know how to identify if the loot is within the mines and pumps. Now getting to the leagues, it gets very complicated. I will give you a simple answer and explanation before going into some specifics as well, but you want to farm where the majority of people are not. That's for a few different reasons, but generally speaking, this is the low to mid area of your trophy range. So what do we mean by that? Your town hall level and your base strength will have a range. Now this is whenever you are constantly losing. If you are just dropping trophies, you will gain them back on defense pretty quickly based on your strength. That is your low range. Your high range is based on your offensive level, your strength, your skill. How high can you get in trophies? People will cap off. This is your trophy range. If you farm too low, then this is where a lot of active farmers will be. Using Goblin Knife, using Barch, they will be taking all of the collector raids. They will be harder to find. Your loot bonus is also less at lower range, and you do want to try and maximize your loot bonus and your star bonus. Having said that, if you farm too high up in the trophy leagues, you might not be able to get all of the loot because the bases you come up against will be stronger and more than likely storage raids. So for that reason, you want to farm at that happy medium, I would say closer to the low end than the high end because that means you will easily be able to get the victory or at least the loot should I say and you will more than likely find more collector raids than storage raids which are higher up. So you are taking advantage of your loot and your star bonus and you're positioning yourself in the ideal spot for your town hall level and base strength. Remember that the game will try and match you in and around your town hall level, which is a good thing because of the loot penalty, and the very active players tend to overcompensate. So the ones that farm with the cheap farming armies will be constantly dropping trophies and be at that low region. The ones that farm with the heavy armies will find themselves higher up. That means you want to take advantage of that and be in the happy medium. Be towards the lower end so it's easier to get the loot. When you do find the collector raids, you can at least take it. But think about the inactive bases. That's what we're trying to find. And when your base is inactive, what happens to it? What trophy range do you end up in? That's what you need to identify. That's the easy way to think about it. Wherever your base lands is where you want to farm. Now, if you are somewhat active, it will help you to identify that lower end because I have been farming not, not much the last five days, but I do generally drop trophies more than I gain them when I'm farming. But since I've been just taking defenses for five days, I have found myself slightly above the lower end and the natural area for me and this base is gold one. I never have to think about dropping trophies. I never have to think about gaining too many trophies. I've naturally found my spot in the low to mid tier. Now, the method I just taught you will help you to identify your league or your trophy area that you should be farming for cheap, quick farming armies. But there are a couple of caveats to that as well. I think most people asking the question, what is the best league to farm in? You will fall under the category of very active farmers. You want to farm quickly to get your base upgraded. So that method is probably best for you, I would think. However, if you are not as active, if you can't attack multiple times in a session, you're just coming on to do one attack, then you might not be able to attack for another hour or two, you might want to consider farming higher up. There are a number of benefits to that. Number one, you're actually able to get more loot bonus. The higher up you go, the loot bonus gets pretty substantial. Titan won 320,000 of each. 
you might want to spend the time cooking up a bigger army in order to maximize the loot bonus, but also it gives you the opportunity to take the storages. For the cheap farming armies, if you find a big storage raid, your army might not be strong enough to take it out, because if you're just using Barch, you're not three-starring a highly leveled base. So it allows you to take the storages. You might be able to find storage collector combination raids and it lets you practice for war attacks. You will find when I do my video on the top farming strategies that I sometimes farm with not just the baby dragons, but with miners in order to help practice for war. Now that also brings up the point of Dark Elixir. Dark Elixir you will find more easier the higher up in trophies you go. So if Dark Elixir is what you are trying to find, you could still stick with the cheap farming armies and the method I taught you in terms of finding that trophy range. But if you're not quite finding the Dark Elixir at that area, you probably want to add a league or two onto that in order to push the trophies that little bit more. And that should help you get a bit more Dark Elixir as well. So let's give you a bit of a guide as to where I like to farm from my personal experience, but hopefully this video has shown you that there's no hard and fast rule. And if you use a method such as what I've taught you, you don't have to keep researching every time you upgrade your town hall level, but it does depend on so many different factors what you're farming with, what you're trying to farm, how active you are, how skillful you are, how much thought you want to put into the attacks. There is a lot that goes into this, but let's give you a bit of a quick fire guide. Starting with the lower leagues, the bronze league, I think this is perfect for town hall five and below. Honestly, I never found at the low level that I had to push up into silver at all. However, as you start moving up, the Silver League is actually perfect for Town Hall 8 and below. If you do start to need some Dark Elixir, Town Hall 7 to 8, you can push to the lower end of gold, but I never th found that I had to push above silver. Honestly, the game is so much different now than it used to be, and when I'm pushing my lower level accounts, I find that silver is perfect for those levels. If you do happen to have any leagues that you find for your level, be sure to drop them down in the comments. I'm sure it will probably help people, but hopefully you're kind of getting the idea throughout this video that it's quite an individualized thing in terms of the league you want to farm. Moving up into Gold League though, you have seen throughout this video, it's actually one of my favorite areas to farm for gold and elixir. And you can farm from Town Hall 8, right of the way up even to Town Hall 12 in Gold League. I always still find an abundance of gold and elixir. I don't need to worry about pushing higher. That being said, on my Town Hall 13, I've never found myself in that gold region. Like I said, you want to position yourself in that low area and the gold is just too low. My account wouldn't drop that far. So, 8 to 12, you could absolutely use the Gold League. However, as I mentioned, Dark Elixir is different. And for Dark Elixir, Crystal is awesome. I found that from Town Hall 10, I had to push into Crystal. Town Hall 9, I'm still good in Gold League, but from Town Hall 10, Crystal is where you will start to get the Dark Elixir. So if you're wanting Dark Elixir, Crystal League from Town Halls 10 to 12, and looking beyond Crystal League into Master, I've never really found any benefit for quick, cheap farming armies. By the way, Town Hall 13, you can absolutely farm Crystal Masters area, but I like to farm higher up as a Town Hall 13, personally. But it just depends on what type of army you're using. Now, I love to farm in Titan 1 with my Town Hall 13, but that's because I like to use a heavier army, I like to practice for war, I'm getting realistic bases, and my loot bonus is huge as well. But for the cheap farming armies, that's my little guide for you. Hopefully you've seen throughout this video though that there's not one hard and fast rule and hopefully gives this gives you the information that you need to make your decision and hopefully helps you forevermore as well. That's the ideal, but the video chapters are here in case you need to refresh on any area 
if you come back to the video. Now, you might have remembered I talked a little bit how I went in a bit more depth with the loot and the loot penalty in my when to upgrade your town hall video. I've got that one linked on the screen if you're interested. I've got the subscribe button there as well. But that finishes it up for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. You take care and have a good one.